Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Charlene Chen. I'm very honored to be here to present this APO CAS report. It's about crowding, a symmetric open bite, cross bite, and the main girl first molar missing. The patient was 37 year old male with convex profile, 5 millimeter open bite, and mandible shifting to the right. The lower left first molar was a retained root. The lower right first molar was missing for a long time. Both upper and the lower arch form were quite narrow with severe anterior crowding. According to the cephalometric analysis, this patient was scheduled class 1, high mandibular angle, reclined upper incisor, and a ritual client lower incisor. His lower facial height was excessive. How to diagnose the anterior open bite? There are two classifications. One is dental alveolar, the other is skeletal. Compared with the dental alveolar, the skeletal is usually extending from the anterior teeth to posterior teeth, with a steep medieval angle and a short ramus height. And it usually has increased lower facial height with the upper upward tipping of palatal plan. From Seth, this patient was skeletal <coughs> anterior open bite. The other way to diagnose anterior open bite is the, is the NUM diagnosis, which divides upper anterior facial height to the lower anterior facial height. And the ratio of this patient was 0 0.66, which is less than the 0 0.68. That means he indeed was a skeletal open bite. So the diagnosis of this patient was as follows. And the discrepancy index was 60 points. Apparently, it's really a simple case. However, all the simple requests of this patient was to improve his smile without surgery. How do we do to make the treatment plan? According to Dr. Chris Chan's decision-making table, all the characteristics of this patient were agreed to the extraction plan. Extraction would be more beneficial for him. As a result, we decided to take out his upper first premolar and the retentive root. Three spaces will be closed, and the one implant will be inserted into the lower right first molar. Let's see the treatment process. We used the DEMA-Q system to treat this patient. The torque selection of upper canine was high torque because upper premolars were restricted. And the upper core spring could make space for the crowded teeth. One power chain is used to retract the block of canine into the extraction space. In the second month, extraction space disappeared, and all the crowded teeth were bounded with bracket. In the twelfth month, the open bite had been improved. However, the midline deviation becomes more obvious. As a result, we use a unilateral cluster elastic to increase the overjade and improve the midline deviation. In 21st months, all the major problems had been solved, and so we decided to prepare the implantation procedure. From the CT scan, the implant side were measured with a 9 mm width and a 90 mm height. The mesial distal dimension was about 7.5 mm. According to the 2B3D rule, a fixed uh, implant fixture uh, of the diameter of 4.3 was selected, which was away from the buckle bone for 2 mm and the 3 mm depth from the future crown margin. After pick up impression, the final process was delivered. The total treatment time was 38 months, and the lower right first molar was replaced with a implant supported crown. The lower left first molar was complete closed. Most important of all, 5 mm open bite and the anterior acetylene had been improved hugely. What happened before and after? We superimposed the self tracing. Both upper and the lower incisor were retroclined, 
and even up to 12 degrees. The anterior open bar improvement was attributed to the extrusion of upper and the lower incisor. The vertical dimension decreased a little because of the posterior protraction. The CRE was totally 29 points. From the DICIE comparative table, the treatment result was good. There are three keys to the successful treatment of skeletal anterior open by with mandibular first molar missing. The key number one, we use the fixed plan uh, to treat the anterior open by. It's usually extrude the posterior teeth and increase the vertical dimension. There are many ways to prevent this side effect. By cuspid or molar extrusion is one of them. It can generate two effects. First, the drawing bridge effect, which requires entry teeth and leads to the relative extrusion. Second, the wedge effect. When move posterior teeth forward from A to B, it can change the frequency of contact and reduce the anterior open bite. The key number two, closing a molar space is very difficult, especially when a detergent root angulation is divergent. If the bone level decreases, the center of resistance will move apically, and the situation will become more unfavorable. As a result, we reposition the bracket to upright the tilting teeth and use the line force to close this molar space. Although the lower second molar was extremely tilted before the treatment, it could still be operated well after the space closure. The key number three, we reduced the lower right first molar space from the nine millimeter to 7.5 millimeter for two reasons. One is using the space to relieve anterior crowding. The other is shortening the distance distal dimension to avoid the, the implant supported crown from, uh, from overloading. So with uh, the correct diagnosis and the reasonable extraction plan and the three keys to the successful treatment, finally, the patient can show his big smile with great effort. Confidence. Thank you for your attention. Oh, sorry, I'm a little nervous. Uh, please give him a second. I would like to thank Dr. Chris Chen and the, the, uh, teacher Gao Shufen to give an opportunity to be work and learn in Bessel Center. Thank you very much.